Welcome to another edition of my Fireside Chat. You know, the world of business today is truly global, and it revolves around some fascinating numbers and percentages. Here are some impressive figures about Delta State's upcoming International Business Symposium, for example. Eight international business experts spoke at the previous two symposiums. Delta State has been presenting an international business symposium now for 14 years. UPS profits rose 43% last year, and the importance of that is the CEO and chairman of the world's largest package delivery company is Delta State's own David Abney. He and his wife, Sherry, established this symposium 14 years ago, and he returns to campus each year to deliver the keynote address. The Press Seal Corporation manufactures 11.255 different types of products, sealing underground collection systems worldwide. CFO and Delta State alumnus Arlen Maliki, who earned a BA in Business Administration in 2010 and an MBA in 2011, will also be one of our speakers at this year's symposium, among many others. You know, when our students graduate, they will be entering a global marketplace and all of the challenges that come with that. Therefore, enter Delta State's International Business Symposium, taking place this October 11th and 12th in Job Hall. This program maintains the history of bringing notable speakers from the business world to our campus to rub elbows with our students, and this year is no different. They will address the theme, the global financial market. Joining me today to talk a little bit more about mm -hmm. that is Lisa Cooley, an instructor in, in marketing in uh, Delta State College of Business and Aviation, which hosts the symposium. Welcome, Lisa. Thanks Thank for you. joining me today. Tell us a little bit more about who can attend the symposium and why people should consider coming. Absolutely. So the International Business Symposium is open to anyone who wants to attend. So we have our students who attend, we have business people in the community, and also high school students who are in the area um, are, are welcome to attend the event. There are a lot of reasons that people should attend this International Business Symposium. For our Delta State students, it's a great way for them to network and meet some of these leaders um, in business. Um, as you mentioned, Dr. Abney is the CEO of UPS, and he's um, UPS is in the uh, Fortune 500, uh, it's the 44th ranked business in all the Fortune 500 companies. Um, and so it's not very often that, that college students have an opportunity to, to meet and interact with people like that. So it's a really great opportunity for networking. Also with the other speakers who are coming, um, they could you know offer jobs and things like that and advice to our students. And then in terms of high school students, um, it's a great opportunity for them to kind of think about what they maybe want to major in when they attend college. Right. And so, and then also with our business community, it's great for them to see, you know, what, um, you know, DSU alum have done and, and think about some right. of the things like that. In Good business. role model. They're great. Mm -hmm. You never know when uh, a program like this might be the spark of inspiration for a student to uh, imagine some new product or service and, and get out in the business world and do very well. Absolutely. So, well, tell us about uh, the guest speakers that have come in and what expertise they bring to the table. Okay, so on Friday, um, we're going to start the day with Ambassador Mike Retzer, and he is the owner of uh, Retz Retzer Resources, which is the largest franchisee um, owner for McDonald's restaurants. They own 101 McDonald's franchises, or, uh, and they are in five different states. So he's going to come talk. He also um, was the uh, ambassador to the United Republic of Tanzania. He was appointed uh, with George, under George Bush and served in that role until 2007. Um, during his time there, he established a financial intelligence unit that helped fight corruption within the government. So he has a really good understanding of, of the importance of you mm -hmm. know financial markets in the across the, the globe. Um, and then the second speaker is Dr. Darren Webb, and he's going to speak beginning at 10 a.m. He's the state economist and director for the, Uni er, for the University Research Center um, for the state of Mississippi. So he oversees econometric models and forecasts the state's economy. Um, so he's originally from Mississippi. He earned his Ph.D. in applied economics from Clemson. So he's a really, um, really smart guy. So then the next speaker is going to be uh, Rion Maliki. He's going to speak at 11 a.m. Rion is a Delta State alum. He played basketball at Delta State. He's orig originally from Kosovo. Um, he finished his uh, bachelor's in business administration here at Delta State and then got an MBA here. And he's now the chief financial officer for Press Seal Corporation. And this is a manufacturing firm in Indiana, and they have over 200 employees. And part of his job, um, he deals with finance, human resources, and information technology within the company. So, Sounds yeah. like a terrific lineup. It is a great lineup. And what are some of the exciting uh, features, you think, in addition to the speakers, that will 
uh, add to the oomph that this conference brings to our campus? Absolutely. So on Thursday, prior to you know the main the main speakers at 5 p.m., we have a reception that's open to anybody. It's in the alumni house. Um, that will have snacks and things like that and an opportunity for uh, participants to interact with these speakers. And then at 6 p.m., uh, Dr. David Abney is going to speak. Um, he'll be the keynote speaker. And then following the event on Friday at 12 p.m. Um, in Broome uh, College of Business, we're going to have a lunch for people who'd come to attend the event. So again, it's a chance for people to, to meet and interact with the, um, the speakers. Great. So in summary, it's not really just for the College of Business and Aviation. It's for the entire campus. All students, mm -hmm. faculty, staff are invited. And the community as well. The Absolutely. As well, too. Absolutely. Well, we're looking forward to it. Thanks for bringing us the good message about Thank this. Thank you. And we'll see you there. In other news on campus, Dr. Mark Emmer, the president of the NCAA, will deliver the fall series of the colloquia program on campus, our distinguished speakers lecture series, on Tuesday, tomorrow, at 6 o'clock in Job Auditorium. And everyone is welcome. And Career Services is hosting. Uh, it's full fall career fair. That'll be this Wednesday from 9 in the morning till noontime in Wyatt Gym. And as usual, to keep up with all of our activities and news and events on campus, just go to our website, deltastate.edu. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you the next time.